Hello friends, so in this video we are going to solve this problem insertion sort part 1 so they have given some basic information of sorting and then they have told you what this insertion sort is so you can read it on yourself but I am going to tell you the problem the, the, the problem is they have given an array and we have to insert the last element to its correct position so all the other elements are in sorted manner that in this case they are in ascending order uh, as you will see here 1 2 4 5 are in ascending order and this 3 is not in the correct order so we have to take this 3 and put it on its right position that is between 2 and 4 so that we have to do in each case this last element is unsorted that is in this case 3 is unsorted in this second case uh, also 3 is unsorted and all the other elements that is 2, 4, 6, 8 are in a sorted manner so in each case we have to take this 3 uh, that is the last element and we have to arrange this in a particular we have to put, take this and put it into its correct order so uh, there is a way to do that so whenever uh, this 3 is uh, less than the second last element uh, we have to copy that second last element to the position of 3 and that way we have to traverse and again we have to on the next iteration we have to check if the this next uh, element that is 4 is less than 3 if not then we have to copy that element to its next uh, index here you will see that 4 is copied to the next index and whenever this and we have to check uh, one more condition that is this 3 is less than 2 so this is false and in this case we have to put 3 on that location that is here we are that that is that is, that is, that is, that is the correct location of 3 so we have taken this 3 and put it in this that is correct location and as I have told you you may have noticed that we have to start from the last index so here uh, they have given some information about the function so n is an integer the size of an array and arr is an array integers to sort so in the arr we will get the array and in n uh, is the number of uh, integers in the array so in that way we have to solve there is second example you will see uh, that is solved in the same manner that is 3 is less than 8 false so they have copied 8 to the next index 3 is not less than 6 so they have copied 6 to the next index in the second iteration 3 is not less than 4 so they have copied 4 to the next index and 2 is uh, not uh, 3 2 is less than 3 so they have copied 3 to that index so they have explained it very well here you can also read that so I have told you orally so we'll go to the function here to complete the function so here uh, the n is the number of integers in the array and arr count is also the number of uh, integers in the array and uh, arr is uh, actual array so what we are going to do that is we are going to start from the last index and we'll check that condition only that if the second last element is uh, less than or greater than uh, the last element so we are going to store this last element in some variable as we have to insert uh, that element to the correct position so we'll take a variable that is variable valve and we are going to put that last element last element will be arr count minus one so as our index starts from zero last element will be on arr count minus one index so that way we are we are storing the last element into this value variable and and after that we are going to run a while loop so we have to give some condition uh, to the while loop as we have to start the traversing from the last second last index so we are going to take an variable i for the while loop and we are going to start that uh, traversing from second last index that is arr count that is number of elements in array minus two second location so the 
traversing will start from um, this uh, second location so sorry we don't have to take uh, error count into this uh, we have to take this error count minus 2 only so that way we'll going to start this ith location from the second last index so in this case i will be 3 and uh, error count will be 5 so i will be 3 so after that we have to traverse till i is greater than or equal to minus 1 so in that way even if the element is uh, arranging itself on the first location we can check that also so after that we have to check that condition if the value is um, we, we have to check that array of index i is greater than value so that is whenever this this condition is true that is uh, 5 is greater than 3 so this is the condition we are checking here so whenever this condition is true what we have to do is we have to take uh, that element that is error of i in this case error of uh, i i starting from second last index so we have to take that element and we have to copy that element to the next next index so for that we will do uh, error of i plus 1 equal to error of i and this will um, copy the that current index to the next index as we are cop uh, giving error of i plus 1 equal to error of i so in that way the that index is copied to uh, the next index that is uh, this first iteration uh, here you will see that uh, 3 is uh, less than 5 or either way you can say 5 is greater than 3 so we have to copy this 5 and this 5 is copied to the next index so at the where, where the 3 is at that position 5 is copied and after that we have to print the whole array again so they have given that uh, condition that uh, print the inter interim and final array each on the new line no return value is expected so we have to print uh, array on it each iteration so for that we'll use a for loop so uh, for the for loop I'll use j variable so that I have to declare here so I'm declaring j for the for loop and j should be less than error count and modification that is j plus plus and in this I am going to just give the printf statement as a printf percent d and there is a one space in between each element so I am giving space and then error of j so we have to print each iteration on the next line so I'll give one more printf statement and in that I'm going to give slash n so uh, each iteration will go on the next line so this is the condition whenever the value that is value is greater than the elements uh, we have to sort uh, in the else part what we have to do is whenever uh, in the else part when the current element is not greater than value so in the else part we have to put that element to that uh, location so so there we have to do error of i is equal to value uh, and we have to give the modification also that is i plus plus sorry i minus minus as we are traversing from the last two first so here also we have to give error of i plus one as the value will decrease by one uh, in the iteration so we have to give error of i plus one 
and after that we have to print the same uh, array again and uh, for that we'll I'll call just copy that code copy that part and I'll just paste it here so after copying that element to the correct position I'm just printing it and at this position after uh, putting the element to the right position we have to break the while loop so I'm just uh, giving a break statement there and uh, that's all for this code so I'll just try to run it to see the test cases so first test case has passed so I'll submit to check all the test cases so it takes some time according to your internet speed So all the test cases are passing. So this is correct code of what I've done here. So you can use this code to solve this problem. And if you have any doubts, do let me know in comments. And thank you for watching.